guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video if you are new here welcome welcome and if you're a turning subscriber thank you so so much for always watching my videos and subscribing to my channel all right the long-awaited sit-down video so i did promise you guys that i would do a q and a video um, just to answer any of your questions that you guys might have and just an update and a quick catch up as well so i don't want to drag this video too long i did ask on instagram for those who want to ask a question on the red app um, to obviously write down their questions on the question tab and i am only answering those questions that i received on instagram i think most people thought i was only asking um, regarding farming and those are the most questions that I received so I wanted to do this so that we can catch up um, I haven't done one um, I haven't done a sit down in about two years I think or a year and a half so that is why I thought let me just do a catch up um, Q&A session so I got a number of questions um, so I'm gonna do my best to answer everything I've set a timer for 30 minutes so I hope we don't exceed 30 minutes. Okay, first question, how did you meet hubby? So I met my husband on the how train. Um, those who came to our wedding know the story very well. Um, so I met him on the how train. I was on my way to Port Elizabeth. My sister was graduating and he was on his way to Namibia. And we were actually checking in on the same airline. Um, but he helped me with my bags on the train and I met him again when we we're checking in. And yeah, so basically that's how we exchanged numbers and we got in contact, I think four, five months later. And then we went on our first date, I think five, six months later. And then the rest is history. <laughs> so that's how I met my husband. I was doing my third year and I met him on the how train, yes. Okay, um, did you study agriculture? No, I did not study agriculture. Um, if you have been following me for a while, you would know that I did not study um, agriculture and my farming journey actually started in 2022. Yes, to kick off, yes, 2022. So no, I did not study agriculture. So the next question is, did you perhaps study a course related to farming, seeing that your crops are growing well? Nope. This answers the first question as well. I did not study the course. Um, most of the stuff that I learned when I started was really from YouTube. Honestly, it was really from YouTube. Um, and obviously asking around, etc, etc. How patient should one be when it comes to produce? It depends on what you're planting. Um, with spinach, you don't really have to be um, that patient. <laughs> with cabbage, you really have to, depending also on the cultivar that you are planting, which is um, the variant. So there are many different kinds of cabbages. Um, so yeah, and I don't know about the other crops, um, but I think the principle is the same. The waiting period farming is really just a waiting game so it just depends what crop you're planting how has 2024 been for you so far guys 2024 i really needed to end like i really need 2024 to end this was one of the hardest um years i've had in a long time um yeah so 2024 guys flames after flames after flames so i wouldn't say it was a 50 50 i think i was on survival mode 90 to 80 percent of the year so i am really just you know hoping that 2025 is better okay what is the most liberating thing about what you do for a living time i get to manage my own time that's the only liberating thing because growing up i really wanted to be a present mom my mom was present, however, she worked, obviously, so she wasn't flexible. So I wanted whatever I tap into to allow me to have time to raise my kids. And I think being in business allows you to do that. Not always, um, but I do have flexibility when it comes to time. So that's the one liberating thing about um, what I do for you. Okay. What are one of the challenge? What are one of the challenges you face as a young farmer? Um, young farmer, being a first generational farmer, 
is honestly just capital like funds we just don't have funds um, I don't have funds so everything that I want to do I have to obviously start from scratch saving etc etc so that's one of the challenges whereas if like for instance like a tractor I always make this example like a tractor you think that oh, it's easy to get a tractor it's not you have to actually make the money to buy the tractor but if you're a second generational farmer um, whether you're young or not you, those things you have access to those things um, so I think that's really just it fun so when you're young obviously um, you don't have much work experience even if you say I'm collecting my pensions you haven't accumulated um, you know a huge sum of um, pensions so it's really just fun you pay would you mentor someone who's interested in farming I've said this before guys I don't feel like I have um, enough experience to mentor yet I am going to do it eventually but right now no I am happy to do this probably in the next year or so but I'm not um, at the level where I want to be um, in the farming space and I would want to obviously grow in the farming space so I can impart those lessons that I've learned um, in my journey to someone else so um, would I mentor someone who's interested definitely at the timing not now hi how did you acquire the land um, to farm on so I have answered this before the land belongs to my husband and that is how I'm able to use it because I'm married to him and food is pretty what is his is mine <laughs> I'm joking but yeah so basically the land belonged to my husband way before I met him and um, that is how I am able to use the land um, Hey Sissy, have you ever came across agricultural engineers and worked with them? I have come across them and I have not worked with them. Um, this one, I've answered that one. Do you ever have days where you don't feel confident? How do you deal with it? Of course, guys, I'm human as well. Um, just like everybody else, um, I don't always feel like... Um, I don't always feel confident in myself, in what I do, Ganjalo. Um, but uh, I take a step back and I always refrain from um, comparing myself. I always reflect, well, why am I feeling this way? What makes me feel this way? And sometimes your confidence is boosted by um, your achievements. Sometimes it's boosted by, you know, seeing what you do come to fruition ganjalo but sometimes what happens when you don't see that or what happens when you see others putting in the same amount of work as you but more now they are you know excelling they are moving forward some days you have those days where um for instance like i would plant you know um let's say five thousand cabbages and only 3,000 make it, you know, and that's a loss. And sometimes it does, you know, kill my confidence in what I do or like what I think I can do, my potential, ganja. So um, there are days where things, small things affect you. Like you don't feel like you want to do anything. And um, you just take, for me personally, I really just take time out like i think now i have been off instagram for about almost a week um it's not that i don't feel confident but i just need a break i just need a break to just collect myself um to re-energize we are gonna next question is which insecticides do you use on your cabbages and how often do you spray in summer okay so let me first answer the second part how often do you spray in summer um, we spray every seven days um, our cabbages and which insecticides do we use? Um, I'm assuming that the person is asking which insecticides do I use in summer? So in summer we are mostly affected by aphids. So we use um, Steward, we use Profenophos, we use um, uh, Sacrometrin um, and oh forgot the third one forgot the fourth one oh i forgot it but um i think when i edit i'll probably remember and i'll just uh 
write it at the bottom of the screen. So those are the ones we use, but then we don't use them all together. Um, so we'll start with, um, say, Stuart, and then we'll spray Stuart. And then secondly, we would go with Profen, of course, and, you know, depending on what we are seeing at that point. So, but those are mainly the ones that we use in summer. Um, and then the the dosages depend depends obviously on how big of a space that you're spraying. Ganja, lo ganja. So, um, I hope I did answer the question. Those are the four that we use. I'll just put the third, fourth one, sorry, on the screen when um, I edit the video. Please kindly guide on the best. Uh, please kindly guide on the best way to approach retailers. Um, if you go on my Instagram, there is a highlight thing from 2022 that I once did a Q&A. So how I did it was I first understood what it means to produce good quality and then I went to go market that quality. So once I knew how to grow good spinach, I went to the retailers nearby. I told them this is what I have, would you be interested in buying it? And then um, I got lots of no's as opposed to yeses. And I realized that, okay, so the first selling point is to have good quality. So that is what I would advise you to start with. Have good quality, produce class one um, products, produce high quality um, crops. That way you are um, beating competition already. Um, and then you approach your retailers but also before you plant just first find out what do they need because when I planted um, onions I realized that um, as much as it was a pilot for me but then my area didn't need onions especially at the volumes that I was producing I was producing very very small volumes for what they want and I realized that I would be able to meet their demand um, I won't be able to meet their demand because also onions take about six to nine months um, to harvest and I can't wait for six to nine months, you know. And what about the labor that I have to obviously pay? What about, you know, my everyday, you know, operational costs? So those things didn't make financial sense for me. Okay. Um, Okay, answer that. Okay, answer that as well. What advice would you give to a 21 year old who wants to start her own business? Market research. I think with my beauty business, I did not do thorough market research. And um, never mind the COVID factor, but um, just the location. Um, I thought I did do, you know, um, footprint um, analysis in the area i thought i did do that but it turns out you know i wasn't you know accurate um so just to do like a lot of market research because had i been in the perfect location i would have probably survived COVID as well okay um what type of cabbage are you farming your work is inspiring thank you so much um I do Optima, that is my first preference of variant. Optima, I do Taurus, I do um, Green Coronet, I do what's this other one? Conquistador. Those are the ones that I've done so far. And my first preference is Optima. In both seasons, I still prefer Optima, um, but it is hard to find as well. Um, but I've realize that it's one of the best um, the others are good don't get me wrong um, but that's the variant that I prefer okay what's your favorite crop to plant my favorite crop to plant is spinach because it doesn't give me gray hairs guys I think I can literally someone can wake me up guys and say how do I do this when it comes to spinach and I'll tell you so that's how much of um, I don't want to say expert I am when it comes to spinach but i've mastered that crop fully um so that becomes obviously my favorite crop but uh, my favorite crop when it comes to obviously the return is cabbage <laughs> 
I've been wanting to answer this question. Why don't you speak more about your life as a farmer on YouTube? Okay, let me address this, guys. Now, a lot of people ask me this, and a lot of people say, Why don't you just take your farming journey onto YouTube? I can't just go from being a mommy YouTuber, a lifestyle YouTuber, just bang, wham, bam, and then just bang, like I'm a farmer, you know? Um, so, I want to, guys. I really do want to. Um, I think last year I did um, try and post more about my farming. I think a lot of people that follow me on um, YouTube uh, resonate more to the mom content that I produce, um, the lifestyle content that I, you know, put on. And I don't think that a lot of people um, that follow me right now um, want that content you know um but i did want to try and see okay maybe if i um channel it in a different way then maybe i can uh, get a sense of who wants to um engage um on the farming content and 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 but don't get me wrong i do want to transition but yeah so this is like obviously my opportunity now to ask would you guys be interested in me putting out more farming content um maybe just like by a show of like high fives on the comment section then i would know like I, I i knew that from my previous video a lot of you guys wanted me to do the sit down based on your thumbs up so i do want to post a lot of my farming journey on youtube um i have previously done it but i didn't receive like enough feedback for me to do it more often so this is an opportunity for you guys to let me know and maybe I can think of ideas on how to transition from mom uh, content creation into farming. Not that I'll leave mom content creation totally and lifestyle, but maybe just to have like a bit of, you know, both and a bit of change. <laughs> I noticed that your main crop is cabbage. What are the pests and diseases to cabbage and how Okay, I noticed that your main crop is cabbage. What are the pests and diseases to cabbage? Mostly, um, it's black rot and aphids. Those are the ones that affect me the most. If you are comfortable to share how you and your husband manage, also your babies are cuties. Thank you, I've already obviously addressed this. I already told you guys how my husband and I met. Um, are you finding any fulfillment? Uh, are you finding any fulfillment on YouTube? Can you say social media has played a role in your growth as a farmer? <sighs> to be honest, YouTube in the beginning I did, but now maybe because I also am not giving it like 100% um, on YouTube, I might not be finding the fulfillment. Kakolo, yeah, well, the way I thought, yeah, well and the way it was in the beginning. Um, and the fact that YouTube guys, you, you don't earn much on YouTube. So that is why I will not prioritize it because of but I didn't make it that much of value in terms of a return. But I do it because I enjoy it. Um, can you say social media has played a role in your growth as a farmer? Definitely. Definitely. Um, if it wasn't for social media, I probably would have still been where I am, but I wouldn't have known some of the things that I know now. Yeah, I think, let me put it that way. Um, hi, Sissy. Would you invest in farming in another country, e.g. Lesotho? Not at this point, guys. Um, you know, no. I wouldn't not at this point um yeah how are you navigating friendships marriage and motherhood guys um i think it's a matter of priority like for me if you can prioritize that whichever needs your attention you know at that point you will give the attention yellow flow but obviously okay hierarchy so um obviously your family your marriage will come first and then um, your friends after that. So if you can navigate in yellow floorball, I think you'll be fine. What has been um, your experience when it comes to social media friendships? Guys, 
I feel like friendship is a beautiful concept. However, um, you need to be a good friend to receive a good friend. Okay, I hope the bigger that goes there. But you can't um, want to um, get, you can't be. Okay, you can get trouble. If you are looking for a partner, you have to be a good partner yourself to find good friends, genuine friends. To be a good friend, to be a genuine friend. So for those things to come into your life, you need to attract them. And I believe that will attract what you are. So if when you are a toxic person, you will attract toxic people. If you are a good person, you will attract good people around you. So now that is how I have labeled in your friendships, whether it's social media friendships, whether it's friendships that you've met, Dala, whatever. Yeah, so that's how I would um, explain it. And then the last question, do you enjoy being a mom? Absolutely, guys. I enjoy being a mom. It's one of those things that I'm really passionate about. Um, yeah so thank you so so much guys for all the questions we have come to the end of this video i appreciate every one of you guys that took the time to ask the questions but i think i will be definitely doing a more of these maybe every other third month cloudy yeah well i don't want to over promise and under deliver <laughs> so um i'm thinking maybe three months four months we can do one um also just for the new subscribers to get to know me as well if you are new here and you don't follow me on the socials i am mrs underscore mkwata on instagram and i am willow to mkwata on tiktok um, please guys um do follow and um, please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my videos guys if um you have not put up with all my other videos please and give yourself some time to catch up and I really enjoy doing this um, I am going to close this video here for today I will see you on my next video